Hey everybody, this video is going to be kind of a different twist from all the working on cars and live feeds and everything. But I know that a lot of you guys, y'all really would just absolutely love to just see me only in trucking. But this video I pretty much want to be is about, you know, having multiple streams of income or revenue. You know, when you have a um a entrepreneur mindset or you just somebody that don't believe in punching the clock for the rest of your life, or you don't believe in trading your time for wages all your life, you're not going to be somebody that's going to be able to be stuck in a box or somebody that's going to conform to just the nine to fives or conform to just retiring at 60 or conform to be satisfied with getting a golden watch when you retire, you want, you're want you going to want more than that if you have that entrepreneur mindset. You're going to want to where you're going to want to build an empire. You're going to want it to where you're going to want to be having more than six figures. You probably double that. You're going to want it to where you can build a legacy for your family to leave behind in case something happened to you. So my thing is I understand trucking is beautiful. And I'm not saying that I'll never, ever drive a truck again or I'm totally done in trucking. But I really do want y'all to understand that me as a person, I'm always an entrepreneur type of person. I've always wanted a business of my own. I always wanted to be the boss of something. I just always had that go-getter mentality to where I'm just not a person to always take commands from a boss. Or I'm not the person that's that 9 to 5 type of person. I've never have been. And, you know, from my work record, it kind of shows that I haven't been because I've always in a sense, kind of gotten into it with bosses and managers. But a lot of times at these nine to fives, they try to treat you like a slave. You know, if, if you show them that you a well-behaved, good boy or good girl, they're going to treat you as such. But me, I always is kind of on the rebel side. I always want to be myself. I don't care what nobody. I always been this way. And no matter where I go, no matter where I go, I always, okay, well, I want to do this, I want to do that, and I'm going to do it. I might can't do it here, but I'm going to do it somewhere. You know, I'm going to get to where I need to be, and that's always been the mindset. So just because you start off a business in something like me, I started off trying to build my business in trucking, which I'm not giving up on, but that don't mean that I can't dibble and dabble in other business ventures or other opportunities that can be another door opener because when you think about life, a lot of times that's all that life really is. It's just a bunch of doors that open and close. And you have to decide which door you're going to walk through or which door that you're going to close and end that chapter. Or are you going to continue to be stuck in a door that's not doing any good for you? Like it's just a bad room. You need to get out that room, close that door, go to the next room. Hopefully that's a more successful room and, and open doors. You got to open doors. And the only way to open doors is to think outside of the box. You know what I realized? Some people, they're so um, just, just close-minded. You know, a lot of people don't have the ability to, um, you know, have think outside of the box. Like, they, they're so close-minded that the fact that maybe they've been on this job for 10 years, still making $10 an hour. And to them, they, that's all they used to, so they fine with that. Not me. Not me. And I'm, look here. I'm not talking about nobody that's making $10 an hour or whatever you make. I'm, not, I'm just saying that if you have talent and you have a want, you have a drive, you're breathing, you're healthy, you're able, do something different. Stop being scared. Get out your comfort zone. A lot of times people get in their comfort zone to where they just do what they used to or they do because they're scared to try something out of either out of fear of failure or just out of fear that it feels different or out of fear that it's hard work. Not me. Like I said, I've been trying so much in my life that all that stuff I've felt before and I've learned to kind of go numb to it to where even though I go through it, I mean, it does hurt. It hurt, but I just keep pushing because I have to. So a lot of times, sometimes, you know, when you lost everything is when you have everything to gain. Let me repeat that. When you lost everything is when you have everything to gain. And I say that because when you're comfortable, 
You don't need to eat. Like, you got a bunch of food in your refrigerator, all your bills paid. You know, you, you're good on your job. You know, you're not worried because everything is going smooth. But let you lose that job. Let your bills be past due. Let you not have one thing of food in your refrigerator to feed your hungry, hungry belly. Guess what you about to do? You about to start thinking outside of that box. You about to start trying different things because now you have to. So sometimes people have to lose everything in order to go on a true path that they were meant to go on because if they never lost everything, they never would have got started. So sometimes some of us need that push from problems or we need that push from certain loved ones or certain people that's on our side. Or sometimes people come in your life for a reason. Sometimes, you know, the, the, the Lord, the great Lord above, he will send people your way to make that change in your life. So having multiple streams of income, you know, it's, it's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with trying something when something didn't work. Now, don't try to, like, do a bunch of things at one time unless you have that great mental capacity to do it or a team, a great team. Because sometimes you can do too much the way you put too much on yourself and then you can fail. But then sometimes it's nothing wrong with failing either because a lot of people fail their way to the top. But if, if I was anybody, I would just do one thing at a time so you can put all your hustle, grind, blood, sweat into it to get it to materialize. So that's just my word for the day, guys. You know, get outside that box. There's nothing wrong with having multiple streams of income. If you can get one business off the ground and then invest into another business, that's fine. But if you started one business, that business crashed, try something else. Try it until something that you love and have a passion for gets off the ground. So y'all know me. I'm not going to give up. I'm, I haven't gave up trucking. It's just that I have to see what fits for my situation at this time in my life. So, all right, guys, I know it's going to be some comments. So what, you don't drive trucks no more? When you getting Tyrone back? When Tyrone, you not driving? You going to drive next week? When you going to get on the truck? I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Y'all trying to keep me on that truck, which I want to be on the truck when I'm saying. Like, that. is that all y'all see me for? You know how, how a woman asks a man, the woman be like, is that all you see me for is a piece of booty? Is that all y'all see me for is the truck? Is that all y'all see me for is the truck? Can y'all see past the truck and see who I am as a person? Can you? All right. All right, guys. So time is the essence. Let's make better time of it because let's love each other, not judge each other. Because I never judge you, hunty. I love you. I love you. Hug. Virtual hugs. Y'all so sweet. Deuces, everybody.